is mind, but the mind is not the all. Peace to you and you and you and all my fellow expressions of consciousness. Are there any spiritual masters? In life is Eckhart Tolle, for example, a spiritual master. In a word, no. With all love and respect, Eckhart Tolle is an idea. The person that you say you are is an idea, a concept, for that is what a human being is. If we have to be genuine, it's a concept. You cannot point at a human being. You can point at a body, but what is controlling the body? Is it the body? No. To go one step further, it's mind. Can one genuinely say mind is in the body, has been seen, perceived in the body? Of course not. Because mind is also a concept. There is no mind. There is only that which mind is known to, which body is known to, which appearances are known to, the pure consciousness which is imperceivable itself. Hence you cannot point at consciousness in its essence because it is no thing. So mind will say this is Kerry this is Winston. Those thoughts are known by something else. So Winston isn't Winston. Winston is that which is observing Winston. Eckhart Tolle is not Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle is that which is observing Eckhart Tolle. That which is observing, of course, has no name called Eckhart Tolle or Winston. It's just pure consciousness. Eckhart Tolle, for example, is simply pure consciousness expressing itself. Guess what? So are you. Pure consciousness expressing itself. The difference with someone like Eckhart Tolle is his, his, I say that loosely, form, the form of Eckhart Tolle is purer than other forms. Hence the message is closer to the truth of oneness with clarity. Eckhart Tolle would say himself, I believe, no, I know. If I was to ask the one called Eckhart Tolle, is there an Eckhart Tolle? No. I mean, when we speak of enlightenment, for example, if you say genuinely, I am enlightened, who is saying I am enlightened? Because the one saying it is also just a thought. Can a thought be enlightened? No. Thought is observed, as I said before. Enlightenment is just that which is revealed where mind is not attached to so heavily. Whenever you're not thinking, one can say they're enlightened. Not say, but just be. 
in deep sleep you could say that is enlightenment because it's so pure there were no masters because there were no people in the way that you believe there were all so called people are one pure consciousness expressing itself in various forms no masters just one master the pure consciousness that everything is and isn't meaning all forms and the formless which is itself that pure godly consciousness hope that helps you just a quick video have a wonderful day or evening peace